meteorologist Kyle Dickin. This time of year, you got to always watch for that. But uh, good news right now, uh, not that a lot of flights are going out at this time, but uh, it's always good because it uh, can certainly be a cascade effect. But all the major airports right now showing no delays, so that is good. We're watching the storm system that we've been talking about. Their potential is there once we get to Wednesday into Thursday morning, Thanksgiving Day. The potential is there that we could see some uh, type of winter storm impact portions of the region. Now, if you were with us earlier today, all these models had this activity pushed off to the east and just outside of the Chicagoland area. Well, uh, naturally, as uh, it has happens, uh, this was all kind of shoved back to the west a little bit and does include portions of the region. One model still taking this all to the southeast. So that shows you that uh, we got some consensus on a storm system impacting us, but really not expecting anything of big consequence. I don't expect a major winter storm of any type here for us. If we do see some accumulating snow, it's going to be on the low end. So uh, while it still could cause some slick spots and cause some travel impact, overall impact for us on a local level, not looking to be anything too extreme. Here comes that system. This is one model. I'm going to show the, this is the model I kind of uh, think is probably best in line for what's going to happen. Bringing that rain in and then it loops around, kind of interacts with some cooler air that will be moving in. And uh, that's where we could get a band or two of snow, maybe some mixed precipitation on the back end of it. Here we are 3 a.m. on Thursday. That moves out. If you have any travel to the east, though, I do think that that could be an impactful situation for places like Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana. Now that storm system, as we've been watching with these models, could move more to the west or to the northwest here and impact us more. Something we'll have to watch for, but right now that trend is uh, in our eastern counties and to the southeast of us have the potential for maybe some wet weather, including some snow. Once we get to the weekend, though, frigid air moves in, and then we're going to have kind of a parade of storm systems, those old clipper systems we've talked about, little Alberta low. One moves in Saturday, then we kind of, here comes another one Tuesday. Another one is expected here on Wednesday, so kind of this parade of storm systems that could drop an inch or two of snow, so that is something that we're going to be watching closely. Once I show you the temperatures, you'll understand why <laughs> why we're uh, uh, certainly going to be seeing snow, not questioning that, uh, that precipitation type. But uh, looking at the snowfall potential for uh, this upcoming system Wednesday. So we add a couple models in here, and this is where the most favored region is once you combine all that model data. Again, still we're going to have to work on uh, to get some more consensus on these models. Once we get into the day tomorrow and tomorrow night, we'll be able to get into some of these short term models that are a little bit more high resolution that give us a little bit more data and uh, we'll be able to pin it down because we're in that time frame, folks, where one degree makes all the difference. See, rain, we can handle that, right? Light snow, we can manage that. But if we uh, get down to a point where we're seeing some freezing rain, well, that could be certainly uh, something of impact. So we'll watch that very closely. For tonight, though, uh, clouds with us uh, in, in a spotty shower or two. Well, that's going to uh, kick a cold front through the area. So that 42 that we are at at 1 p.m. certainly going to drop. There were 35 by 6. So you're going to start the day where you might think, oh, I can get away with a, a pullover or a hoodie, but you're going to need the jacket by the time you get uh, leave work. Then we're dropping into the 20s. Those feel like temperatures as we wake up on Tuesday morning going to feel like the low teens. So it's going to be a chilly one. Breezy tomorrow as well. That's one thing I'd like to know. But we're watching this. This is probably going to be the most impactful thing that we see weather-wise over the next seven days, and that is a a blast of some pretty chilly air. Those whites and pinks up there, purples. I'll get Monday morning. This is not tomorrow, but the a week from tomorrow, we're talking waking up into the teens. So that's more like late January type weather. So here it is, folks. Uh, we wanted it. We're going to get it. 45 degrees, spotty shower or two possible tonight. Otherwise, mostly cloudy skies. That front moves through in the morning. And again, can't rule out some rain tomorrow, but very, very light chance. Otherwise, uh, get ready for the wind. 39 Tuesday, then Wednesday, watching that system. 44 Thanksgiving, though, there comes that cooler air. 35 degrees. We're into the 20s for highs by the time we get to Tuesday. Next to 10.